Hey guys, this is Erica and Erica is really beautiful hair, but we do put artificial tint on there. So we are not going to get a very cool result, but we are going to balayage her today freehand paint. So stay tuned to see how I do that. Hi guys, I'm Elise Rocks and welcome to Hair Toots Light, raw, real, and diverse hair education. I help hairstylists become better hairstylists. Hey guys, here we go, here we go. Remember, I speed this up for your viewing pleasure. And we are balayaging today. I'm using Sunlight's uh, Balayage Lightener with 50 volume. You heard me, 50 volume, guys. And um, I'll tell you why I'm using 50 volume because we control our saturation with application. So if we want to do a very, very heavy saturation, we're gonna lay it on and then we're gonna get a 50 volume lift. But see how I just did a real, real tiny skim right there? And we're lucky if we can get a five or ten volume lift there. So it all depends on how much saturation you use. And of course, I always use Olaplex in everything that I do. And I do use this paddle. I use a candy shaw brush with this sunlight brush. I really love it. It's very firm. It's very stiff. When I paint with this lightener, it is a very firm, stiff lightener. And I like to paint with a firm, stiff brush. So when I paint with this one, that's what I will use. And so I work the hair down, I'm really loading it. I work it side to side on the paddle for a reason because I don't want lines behind the hair. Nobody likes lines on their hair. So the easiest way not to get lines, is to put that paddle side to side, catch those edges from one top to the other. I work, start at the top and I work my way down. I don't proceed to the ends until I finish with the top bit. Sometimes I will go in, but I'm a trained professional and I've been doing this a long time. So when you're first new, it makes the hair bounce. As you can see, I hold the hair really tight. A lot of people help. I don't like when they help. Like stop helping because the more they help, the harder I pull. And then they help more. And then that's what I call a jelly head. So don't be a jelly head. Okay, as you can see, when I put the hair down on the paddle, there's a spread apart. You really need to lay the lightener on. And sometimes I do use my fingers. And guys, don't worry. I do have a wet towel sitting right next to me. So I'm not burning myself or causing myself any issues. I do stop, wipe my hands before each section. And just I cut all that stuff out for your viewing pleasure because I just feel like, wow, what a waste of time, right? This uh, video is kind of old. Um, it's been sitting in my uh, video of things to do. So... I figured, let's do it. Um, I actually just did her hair the other day. We didn't film it, but it came out really beautiful. And one of those things of like, oh, shit, I wish I would have filmed it. So as you can see, I just spread more mid-paint. And that always happens where I run out of lightener mid-paint. She's got a lot of hair. And I'm putting it on really, really thick. And that was my dog choking in the background. So I need to put it on really, really thick. So I'm using a brush. They're kind of hard to find these days. And you know, whenever I do the top and you have a question about, like, what do I do there? And you know, I always say, when in doubt, weave it out. You know, so I've been a pretty badass hairstylist. And when all the Facebook groups started coming out, I was like, I'm not. And I saw all the beautiful hairs people were doing. I was like, I really suck. So how was I going to change that? So I made a plan and I was struggling, struggling stylist. I was broke. And the one thing I was super battling with was my 30K in debt. So I was a dinghy and I was giving deals to people because I felt $90 was better than no dollars. And I began to educate myself and learn new techniques. I was going to up my skill set and offer this to my clients and charge them more. I started to realize that other stylists looked up to me all of a sudden. And all this educating in myself and product knowledge was really paying off. I went from a tiny little studio to a 950 square foot studio of my own. So if you're someone struggling, if you need help in controlling your business, then join me in my webinar this February 26th, Sunday. And Monday the 27th, so you can pick your time. Um, you register, the seats are very limited, so make sure you click on the link in the bio. The webinar's there. Don't say no to your dreams, guys. This is the time to make this shit happen. So, yeah, guys, don't forget to uh, check out that webinar. Um, yeah, so click the link in the bio or in the description or wherever you're watching this. Okay, so yeah, so we're weaving it out and then we're gonna paint and feather that up. Now I don't go too much upwards on the hair. I am doing like a small C-section and if I feel like it's goobery, I will put my finger there and I will smooth it out a little bit and then I will wipe it for all you people that are worried about me, like getting like some sort of like bleach poisoning or something. 
I know they are chemicals, guys. I'm just teasing. Okay, so I am applying this and I am working my all the way down, down, down. And I do use Bali Wrap. That is not food grade Bali uh, or like uh, Saran Wrap. That is Bali Wrap by Candy Shaw, uh, by Sunlights Pro. I do like it has no oil on there. So that's how that top piece looks before I cover it all up. This is when I was really into like filming each piece. So there you go. So now we're going to go around the face. And I just really want that blendy around her face. Now we are going to base her afterwards because she does have some glitter. And this time we were just using Oligo in the IN series. But she has graduated. <laughs> Yes, she has. The more sparkle she has, the more she graduates. And, you know, the more you balayage the hair as well, the lighter you're going to get. If you are this dark and you have dreams of being lighter when you, lighter when you have um, artificial tint on your hair, it is really, really hard to lift through artificial tint. So the more you do it and... It being um, balayage lightener, it incubates and lifts less than traditional hair bleach. Like some of the bleaches out there these days that lift nine levels, you're not going to get that from balayage lightener because the kaolin clay incubates the lightener and it really inhibits the processing and it just keeps it from processing. That's why we also use 50 volume because it just really is not as aggressive as traditional uh, bleach or foil lightener, or even on the scalp lightener. So here we are. You see those sparkles? There they are. Woof. So um, we, like I said, she's graduated to a more coverage now. So we now use Magix 10. We do more fit into an acidic gloss. We are using ammoniated color. It does kill the ammonia. She gets more coverage than a gloss. So it works out better for her. She likes it better. It works better. It's all good. So yeah, so it works great. So we are going to go ahead and then do some glazing. We will rinse her. We will process it for 45 minutes. And then we will rinse her and we will stop oxidation. As you can see, I am painting her on the ridge. And what is the ridge? The ridge is a point. So we're going to create triangles on the top of the head. And then we are going to paint the heaviest point on the biggest corner which is the ridge and then we're going to again side to side on the paddle so we will rinse it like i said stop oxidation with malibu c deox and now i'm going to put her natural base color down there at the root area and we're going to comb that down with either my Olivia Garden blender brush or a wet brush i like either one just make sure that the hair is really really combed out and i put the ends color in oh it's the wet brush i put the ends color in a bottle it's a lot easier to squirt 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 and it goes all the way down and we just comb it through and we're going to let that process for about 20 minutes and then we're going to rinse and then we're going to give her olaplex and there's looking all mushy gushy it looks great okay guys so here was erica's before and it was you know it was time for her to get her balayage moved up and so i just wanted you to see some really beautiful sweat pieces she does wear her hair up a lot so we did those under so when she wears her hair up it just looks absolutely gorgeous and those face framey pieces they look ultra swoopy and beautiful and look how beachy and beautiful this came out guys it is absolutely gorgeous i was trying to do a new pose there just getting the hang of that but look how gorgeous it looks guys i absolutely love this guys if you like and enjoy my content don't forget you can find me on all the social media channels at elise rocks uh, zero zero or regular elise rocks if you like and enjoyed this video don't forget to check this one out and also don't forget to hit the ding dong thanks guys love you bye